All right, here we go. Question 25 from our pre-calculus homework number 13 in my lab math. It says evaluate the expression. And so you're going to have to know what the freak this notation means in order to calculate it. Let's go to the scratch work and explain. So this formula actually comes from probability and statistics. This, the way this is written means NCR, or in other words, N things chosen R at a time. The C is for combination. So we're looking for how many combinations there are if we have N things taken R at a time. And so here is the formula to calculate that value. The exclamation mark in math means factorial. So if we want to calculate this expression, we're going to have to know the value for N and R and then plug it into this formula. So for our particular problem, we have five things choosing two at a time in our NCR notation. That would be 5C2. But in the formula, that would be 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 5 minus 2 factorial. And then if you want to calculate this manually, you need to know what factorial means. Well, 5 factorial means starting at 5, multiply every number below him all the way down to 1. That is 5 factorial. And then simplifying 2 factorial would be 2 times 1. Next, we have indicated multiplication. 5 minus 2 is 3. Factorial would be 3 times 2 times 1. And then you would simplify the fraction. So 3 times 2 times 1, those are going to divide out. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 goes into 4 2 times. And then we're just left with 5 times 2, which is 10. Now, if you're wondering what does that actually mean, I'm going to take a little bit of time. You can skip this if you want, but I'm going to show you an example of what this calculation tells us. So what I have written here is the first five letters of the alphabet trying to explain what this notation means. In this example, this would say, Taking the first five letters of the alphabet, how many ways are there to write them in groups of two where the order doesn't matter? So the C, a combination, means order doesn't matter. Now, what does that mean? It means that the combination AB would be the same as the combination BA because the order doesn't matter. So these wouldn't be two separate groupings, they would be the same thing. So in other words, now we want to calculate how many ways are there to take the first five letters of the alphabet and write them in groups of two. Here we go. A, B, A, C, A, D, and A, E. All of those are different, so those would be the first four groupings using the value of A. And then I'm going to go to B. So next we would have B, C, B, D, B, E. Notice that those are three different groupings, not the same as any of the first four. And then we move to C. We would have C, D, and C, E. Again, accounting for all the groupings with C, not like any of the other groupings. And then we have D, E. So how many do we have total groupings? That's 4 plus 6 is 10. And these are the only 10 possible ways to group the letters A, B, C, D in pairs so that no pair is identical to any other pair. That's exactly what this calculation determines. And now back to the MyLab math to finish the problem. 5 choose 2, 10, and we're done. And that's going to do it for this problem. 
So if you have any questions or comments about anything covered in this video, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.